So at work today, I was uh, listening to old Opie and Anthony shows. And one of them I was listening to, they were bitching about uh, FCC and stuff like that. And, you know, the conservatives trying to control the conservative media and trying to control it all during Bush years, right? And I'm listening to it. And I'm laughing my ass off because it's like, for those of you who remember back then, back in back in Bush years, W, um, not going that far back, geez. but yeah, and during W, uh, early 2000s, those of you who remember, it was always about the kids, wasn't it? Wasn't it always about the kids? We don't want the kids to see. Uh, profanity. We get. We don't want to see the kids. We don't want to have the kids see uh, anything too sexy, because that's gonna fucking warp their minds, and, and they can't see any rude gestures, because it's fucking fuck them up. And they can't hear any curse words, because uh, oh my god, they might start cursing. And uh, yeah, like. It was always about the kids. We gotta protect the kids. Adults can't have anything that they might think is fun or funny or whatever, or sexy or what. Adults can't have shit because we gotta protect the kids. That was always the excuse. Gotta protect the kids, right? And then, like the pendulum, you know, swung the other way with Obama. And, and everything kind of got a lot more, eh, we don't fucking care so much anymore about certain things, right? Everything just kind of got a little bit more, you know, open. And then the pendulum fucking just kept swinging that way. And now it's, we gotta, you can't have things that I think are offensive. I find it offensive. I'm offended. So you can't watch it. And it's like, but I'm an, 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 I'm, I'm supposed to be an adult, right? I'm 40 fucking years old. I'm supposed to be an adult. I, I, I should be able to make my decision as to whether or not I want to watch Rick and Morty. Like, you, you shouldn't have any control over that because you're offended. You're offended. Then you don't watch it. I do. So, fuck off. Like, don't watch it if you're offended by it. If you don't like it, fuck it. You don't have to watch it. Turn the channel. Don't watch it. Nobody's forcing you to. So, but yeah, I, I can't have fun with it. And everybody else is having fun with it. So I don't want to have fun with it. It's the asshole kid that fucking... Isn't, isn't allowed to play with the ball, but everybody else is playing with the ball, so he just walks up, grabs the ball, and throws it in the fucking river. Uh, fuck all you. I can't do it. Nobody can do it. Well, you can do it. All you gotta do is, is lighten the fuck up. <laughs> lighten up. And learn how to enjoy things and laugh at shit. And then you can have fun with the rest of us. If you were more fun, we'd have fun with you. But when you're around, nobody has fun, including you. So we figure if we all have fun without you, and you don't even have fun with you with us, none of us have fun with you with us, You know, I know how to add, but I also know how to subtract. <laughs> Just stop being a fucking drag, man. Just quit being a fucking bitch. Ugh. You don't get to make my decisions for me. I mean, they do now. Whatever, right? I, I don't even know anymore. Like, I, I talk about this shit all the time.
You know, I'm just saying the same shit everybody else is saying. But yet, it's still, it's still happening. How is it just happening? Like, we didn't vote on any of this. What the fuck? I was lied to. <laughs> oh, by the way, I got, I got two pieces of mail the other day, which you guys might find interesting. I will, uh, not be disclosing my address. I got a letter from the president again. President Donald J. Trump. Got another letter. This time it's kind of begging for money. It's, it's, I gotta admit, it's pretty funny. Like, it is very much propaganda letter. I'm, I'm still trying to decide whether or not I want to fucking bother to read it. And then, uh, yeah, I got my, uh, my vote, I don't think, I don't, I don't really have anything, okay. I got my voter participation. They want me to register. They've noticed, according to our review of publicly available records, no one at this address is currently registered to vote. I don't know. I don't know how much I tr I don't know, I don't know who the voter participation center is. It's a non-government, non-profit, and non-partisan organization. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think if I'm going to register to vote, I think I'll do it through the government. But, yeah. Because who knows? Does it ask me what I would fucking... Does it ask me what party I'm a part of? Choice of party. Yeah, I don't trust it. <laughs> right there, I don't trust it. Nope, fuck you. Uh-uh. I gotta get my license renewed anyway, so. While I'm there, I might actually fucking register to vote this year. That's how bad it's getting. <clears throat> That's how bad I personally find things to be getting. But this might be the first year in my life I actually go and vote. Some of you out there might be like, holy shit, he is fucking freaking out. Yeah, 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 because I'm wondering, I'm just wondering if Joe Biden wins. If that doesn't mean I'm going to get just get kicked off of YouTube and like, because <laughs> like if, I, if, if they fucking really throw the hammer down, okay, yeah, I'll go to bitch shoot, except they'll just delete bitch shoot. So, like, the sooner or later bitch shoot's going to go. Right? You think if they just kick everybody off of YouTube and then everybody goes to bitch shoot, they're not going to be like, oh my god, it's just as bad as Gab. Which is also going to be shut down. Like, you know what I mean? They control it all, man. They control it all! Give them the reins and power and they will fucking do whatever they want. So, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. What, what do you do? So, yeah, fuck. <clears throat> and this isn't even like my career. I just have fun with this shit. Just fucking around with you guys. So. <laughs> yeah. Fucking. We used to protect children. And then those children grew up. And we're still protecting them. It's just now the children that were never exposed to any of that fun stuff when they were children now they don't know how to handle it as adults so they're still demanding that we protect them fucking what 10 years later and it's like no but now they're getting voted into office and they're like just making it happen. They they're becoming fucking heads of companies that run the world. And they're all the losers that we teased in high school. And they're getting back at us. They're taking away all our fun. 
man. I knew I should have done something with my life other than tease retards. <laughs> well, I guess I deserve it. Fuck me. Eh. We come to these realizations when we come to them. My fault for teasing people. And when I say retard, I don't mean like that's somebody with a learning disability. Totally different thing. I mean like retards. Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ. I wonder if there will ever be a time wherein I will be in the court and I could be like, well, play the next part where I said I didn't mean. <laughs> I meant this. You know what I mean? Play that part, so then you can have the full context of it, and then they'll play it and be like, "Oh God, he's even worse than we thought," because they won't get it, because they don't, they don't, they've never been exposed to jokes before. Man, we really created a fucked up world, didn't we? Holy shit! 